Hello guys, I'm Nigeth here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sync a ROM source code on your uh, Linux desktop or a virtual machine. And uh, before starting, you must ensure that uh, you must have a 64-bit desktop, or you can use a virtual machine. But uh, you should use a 64-bit virtual machine because a 32-bit virtual machine won't work if you want to compile Lollipop or Marshmallow ROM. So uh, I won't be going into the basics. Uh, on how to s initialize the setup and set up all the envi Android environment and stuff. So uh, for that, I have I have I will be uh, dropping a link in the description below. So you can see how ca how can you uh, uh, initialize a repo and uh, do the initial thing. You know. So in this video, I'm gonna just sh show you how to sync a ROM that you want to sync. You know. You understand it, right? Okay. So let's say I have to sing AICP. Uh, the other people got it like Android Ice Cool Jelly project. So I go to the, the gate. Like, let me just search it on the Google. I go to the GitHub page. I search for the name manifest. As you can see, uh, some rooms don't have man. Uh, manifest as his name some rooms have like uh, for example um, Omni Omni ROM so I would basically recommend that uh, we do you don't use the reference command uh, you should sync the rom as it is okay so when we have initialized the repo here so it displays the uh, number of branches and uh, number of projects that you go into sync and you can also review it in the if you want to edit like uh, you edit dot repo manifest dot xml so here you go and review all the projects that you are syncing. If you want to remove uh, an unnecessary links, like uh, some, there are some devices also uh, that are meant to be uh, compiled on Jenkins or server. So uh, th those guys puts put the links of uh, their device repos and kernel repos, so so that they can uh, build on the on the server. So you can remove the links also if they are not necessary, and you can sync the room as it is. So for the next step, we use repo sync dash j. Uh, it depends uh, how many cores you have in your CPU. Multiplied by two. Let's say I have uh, I have a quad core CPU, so I use j8. It means like number of cores multiplied by two. So I use j8, and uh, I also use force sync just in case if the projects breaks in between or it shows uh, fetch errors or you know you will get you will get those errors but uh, in case you uh, if you want to avoid them uh, you just you just have to use uh, this uh, this this tag uh, the force sync tag and then you have press enter and then it starts to uh, sync the repos sync the projects as you say so it syncs the whole manifest and Depending on your connection, it will take around uh, like mine is 4 Mbps, so it takes around uh, 12 hours for me to completely sync a ROM. The normal normal source is around uh, the Marshmallow source is around 20 GB, and uh, some uh, other ROMs are like the AOSP ones. Uh, those ROMs are around uh, 18 GB. Uh, the maximum it can go is uh, 25 GB, which is for slim ROMs. If you are going to sync a slim ROM, uh, it will, I guess, it will uh, cross 25 GB. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, yeah. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to build a ROM after you have uh, synced the project. You can, uh, okay, that's it me for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel, and bye bye.